So if you love the look of vintage Halloween, you're going to really appreciate today's craft project. It borrows that old folk art look of the jack-o'-lantern with the big toothy grin, you know the guy, in sort of whimsical style and with a paper mache form. Artist Lori Walker is showing how to paint her version of a vintage jack-o'-lantern. It's great to see you. These are darling, Lori. Thank you. They Thank are you. so happy and just fun and playful. Tell me more about your inspiration. Um, I was inspired by Stephen Brown, who is famous for his Glitterville studio in Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay. He also sells to your high-end department stores, such as Very. Neiman Marcus and Anthropology. Yeah. He's kind of curated this look, this he vintage. He is very. Yeah, meets whimsy, meets whimsy. happy. Yes. Colorful creations. Yes. So you look to him for inspiration and you really created a whole family, like a whole circus of these <laughs> darling jack-o'-lanterns. Can you describe each, each, introduce us to each personality. Oh, I should have named them. You should have. Tell have us about them. this one. Okay, this one is so fun and so happy. He's got the big, big eyes with yeah. the cute little polka dotted hat, his pink toothy smile <laughs> and that pink nose I love pink 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 is my love language all right here's the queen of the queen day queen of Halloween yes but she's just oh so tired because she's had a little too much candy so her <laughs> eyes are closed <laughs> with her lovely aqua Look shadow at the fluffage around the crown yes, that's a technical term yes fluffage. the fluffage oh. aka dollar tree tinsel you're the best at that and we love it yes. you know me cheap Cute. and cheerful Cute. So, and she's got her oh has, you know oh she's mid yawn yes and this one is kind of a nod to the circusy with a little extra paper mache yeah. creation with the beads dangling from him. And he's a little frightened himself, I think. <laughs> he's not quite sure what to think. He's like, I don't know. His first TV appearance. He's, he's kind of camera. He's, he's kind doing of, the headlines. He's kind of mid-shy. <laughs> These little macarons down here are yeah. actually Stephen Brown's okay. creations that I own from being so fortunate to have been in his store in Knoxville oh, as amazing. I have children that live there. Oh, look at that. So and you... they're so darling. I picked those up when I was there. How cute. And his store, if you ever get close there, please stop by. Worth it. it oh, mm, yeah. I will so be going to Knoxville in a few weeks. Oh, fun. And so I'll maybe get a sneak peek of Christmas You'll for us. You'll have to take some photos. And come you back. know I will. Okay, you love know it. I will. So these all started, though, with the like basic paper basic mache pumpkin. Basic paper mache. Um, I got these round ones, Target, mm -hmm. the taller, more slender one mm -hmm. at Joanne's. Okay. All around $5. Nice. Yeah. And, and then uh, where do you go from there? Um, I give them a nice coat of gesso. Okay. Okay, and you can get this Delta form. Yeah. Or you can get Liquitex. And that, I'm one. not super familiar with that, but that just gives gesso it a Gesso is a nice creamy base that covers anything. It's just an artist paint that you usually start your canvases out with. Okay, so smooths it out? or Smooths it out, gives you a nice um, base that your paint will grab and hang on to. Okay, also kind of camouflaging or covering up the brown. Yes, and so you can't see the brown and yeah. also it kind of covers up those seams. Okay. So it gives it that seamless, um, it's a must in when you're doing any kind of artwork. Uh-huh. Um, on a canvas well, especially to help where it you got kind of high, high gloss with these. You want it to I be... Did, I did, I uh did, -huh. which is also a Liquitex okay. product I used, um, which is their gloss medium in a, in a gloss. Okay, so you put that coat on first. Yes, and then I went with my oranges and stuff, and I have all those products listed on your site. Now, you say oranges. There's some blending I and did. shading going on. I did on. some multiple oranges because I... You know, I'll turn that around and yeah. maybe you can see that better. I like some oranges and some texture and not just that flat yeah. orange base. It's what gives it personality. So are you just, are you doing one layer, let it dry, next layer, or are you me melding them wet? I, 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 I go into those oranges wet, wet okay. on wet. And noticing you're playing up on the shadowing yes. there, the dark and, and the where crease. Where the creases are, I go in with the oranges and I may even touch it with a little bit of yellow. Yeah, okay. In there to get some blending, but I like that wet on wet technique. And you know, and yet that's not hard, Brooke. It sounds hard, it's not. I actually, I mean, maybe it's your confidence rubbing off on me, but I yeah. feel like I could try it, you I'm no artist. You certainly but, could, okay. let me just grab a wipe for that brush. And maybe I can just kind of show you that a little bit with the pink. Okay, sure. You know, so you have got a dark pink here. Uh-huh. And I've got 
And so if I want, if this, my pumpkin was gonna be pink, yeah. and I'm going wet, and you know how that just creates an in-between paint? Yeah, yeah. And then I want a darker over here, just and then just go going. darker. Will you yeah. play with it? Play with it, just go okay. back and forth. Okay. And see, we've got some of that nice shading going on right there. Yeah, well, and in the in the genre of, of whimsy or whimsical, yeah. it doesn't have to be perfect or defined. It doesn't, yeah. see, and see there right there, we've got some multiple tones of Pretty. pinks. Yep, okay. So that's just super easy, super friendly, and it's paint. Sure. That's what people say, you know, pe some people come over to my house and go, oh, you painted a wall red. Yep, it's paint. It's paint. You can paint over it. Okay, so all right. So if you don't like that, paint over it. Faces, where were you getting your inspiration for these cute characters? Okay, from Stephen Brown. Okay. He has some darling faces. And you know what, be inspired by, don't copy. Yes. I did not trace his designs. What I like to do, and I'm gonna flip it around again. Yeah. And here's a trick for all of you that are Scared about putting a paint design on? Me. Oh, use, you're chalking it. Use good old school chalk. Okay. Chalk and eye. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. If you don't love it, if you go, oh, that eye's not good. Look at that. Wipe it off. Love it. Because if you do a pencil mark on here. You'll see it. If you try to erase it, no bueno. Okay. Okay. Not going to happen. Okay. So use chalk. All right. Kind of sketch it out. And you did sketch bigger shapes, out. like the cheeks, for example, yes. are just very pronounced and, and circular. Again, his style. Yeah. Inspired by. It's okay to be inspired by. Always. And and the cheek, uh, you, you chalked it there for us. Can I finish this out? Yeah. So you can do that same thing I just did. And you just, you did. And you can get kind of a mix of those pinks. Okay, the pretty pinks. And you did do a lot of outlining, like I'm seeing some black. Like, I did do some black eyeliner, mm -hmm. but you might not, we might not be dry quite. Sure, once you're dry, you do that. Yeah. And then the gold kind of line dot okay. pattern down the, down the seams of the yes. pumpkin is and cute Yes, and you too. know, I'm gonna give you another tip. Okay. You can buy a gold and other paint markers, ladies and gentlemen, because I know there are some male artists that mm, are so great. You can go and get any paint markers you want. A lot of places sell them. Okay. But you, if you're gonna get a paint marker, yeah. get a paint marker. Okay. Okay, Posca is my number one paint marker. That's the brand you love. If you wanna get a tr white that is opaque, yeah. get a Posca white. Okay, Posca white, Recom my, recommended by Lori. These, all these lines. Okay. okay, we've got about a minute left. You dressed them up after you I gave them a face them. with cute paper crowns and jewels and the dollar store yes. tinsel. Yes, dollar store tinsel, polka dots. Um, again, Little. this black is some taken off some when I undo things at the dollar store in that tinselly black, yes. I saved it. Save the bits. Okay, this party hat set from Amazon is for pets. Oh my gosh. Because I wanted it <laughs> to fit. How cute. I don't want an adult hat or even a this child is too big. Okay. Okay, so that's where my crown came from for okay. the pumpkin. Okay. But I didn't want that size, so I recreated it, traced it in a craft paper. Yeah. And then I used leftover craft paper and made this and I had to get some serious Mod Podge and paint on there That's to get that stiff. Nice and stiff, yeah. Some dollar store beads. Oh my gosh, Lori. Braided some twine. They're the best. It's the details. The devil's in the details. It's always, <laughs> and you brought the best, <laughs> happiest details for these throwback vintage pumpkin patch friends. We love it so much. Uh, we should say, uh, we can contact you online. Always. It Lori to Walker on Instagram or okay. Emily Jane Creates is my artistic site. All right, and she shared with us a supply list which we'll post on our website yes. along with a link over yes. to Miss Lori so you can connect if with you her. If you have any questions, you're so great to share your gift and your talent and your passion. Thank my you. My pleasure. Great job. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.